Welcome back to the NBC Sports Studio here at Levi Stadium. Our first Sun Power Electric game tonight is a big softball matchup being played in Sacramento. St. Francis comes into the week sporting an 11-1 record. The Trubies riding a seven-game win streak into their Thursday matchup with Sheldon. The Huskies are hot right now. Sheldon has won seven of their last eight games and stole a few big wins over top Bay Area teams in the Livermore Stampede last weekend. Sheldon looking to stay hot in this very important league battle. It's our Sun Power Electric game and our Brian Mueller was there. Electric game. Robert and Aubrey, one of these teams will be in sole possession of the Delta League once the dust has settled in our Sun Power Electric game on Tuesday afternoon. Both Sheldon and St. Francis have a lot in common, both with 11 overall victories and three league wins. And get this, in league play, the two teams have combined to allow just three runs. One of the big reasons why for St. Francis is senior Hope Jenkins, the Shote Otani of the Sac Joaquin section. Not only does she have a minuscule 1.05 ERA, she's batting 528 with four homers. As for the Huskies, they have a deep lineup one through nine, and the leader of the pack is Reina Zermeno, sporting a 469 average with a team high 23 hits. Let's hit the diamond for our Sun Power Electric game. It's deja vu all over again for Sheldon, who just beat St. Francis of Mountain View last weekend. And they get off to a good start against the Troops. It's one to nothing after a Dakota Kennedy home run. Then Sakura Harvell adds to the advantage with an RBI single, two to nothing Huskies. St. Francis answers in the bottom half. Second and third, two outs for Alexandra Garcia. Hot shot to short, a play at third and safe is the call. That makes it 2-1. Top two, a runner on second for Jazzy Fines and a smooth stroke produces a base hit to left. Huskies have a 3-1 lead. Later in the inning, it's Kennedy at the plate with a runner on, and it's looking like the Kennedy Space Center with another blast off. Her second of the game puts Sheldon ahead 5-1. Same score, bottom three, bases loaded for Kayla Garber, and it's an ouchie wowie RBI for Kayla. The troops down just three on the HBP, but Bree Romero would settle down after that, notches the K to cap off a scoreless fourth. The fifth, though, be a different story. Garber up again with a runner on, and she sends it down the right field line. Lands just fair. Garcia scores, and it's 5-3. to three. But Shota will get some insurance in the sixth. Already a run in when Deanna Johnson bloops it to right. That drops. Imani Black slides in with the Huskies' seventh run of the game. Sheldon still looking for more in the inning, but here comes Amy Abueg with a diving catch to end the inning. And there must be something in the air and left because in the bottom of the sixth, a line shot hit out there, but this time it's the Huskies left fielder doing the honors. Beja Allen with a tremendous catch, and Sheldon goes on to win it 7-3. to three. Here's Kennedy on her team's big day at the plate. The whole lineup, like, everyone has faith in each other. Like, if one person gets out, everyone knows, like, that next person's picking you up. It's it's really a family-type team. Just, you know, getting as many wins in league is kind of our priority right now. We're not worried about after league. We're not worried about before league. It's just right now. 